what is the name of this form? y equals ax power of 2 plus bx plus c. Is it zero form, standard form, vertex form, or vector form? So the form y equals ax power of 2 plus bx plus c is standard form. Identify the vertex of the following problem. y equals x power of 2 minus 4x plus 1. So what you're going to need to do is write the equation y equals x power of 2 minus 4x plus 1. And then you're going to identify what is a and what is b. So a is 1 and b is negative 4. And then you're going to write the formula which is x equals negative b over 2a and then replace uh, sorry and then write negative brackets negative 4 replace b with negative 4 over 2 brackets 1 so negative and negative is positive so it is positive 4 over 2 times 1 which is 2 so then you have 4 over 2 and then you're going to i um, sorry you're going to divide 4 and oh, 4 over 2, which is 2. And then you're going to plug 2, which is x equals 2. You're going to plug 2 into the, back into the equation. So it's going to be y equals bracket 2 power of 2 minus 4. And then 2, bracket 2, and then plus 1. And then you're going to need a calculator. So you can write y equals bracket 2, power of 2, and then minus 4, bracket 2, and then plus 1. So then you're going to get the answer, which is going to be negative. And pretty sure it is going to be 2 and negative 3. A minimum is the lowest or highest point of the function. So a minimum is the lowest point of the function. A maximum is the highest. Find the vertex of the graph of the following function, f of x equals 2x power of 2 plus 4x plus 2. So first thing again, you're going to write the equation f of x equals 2x power of 2 plus 4x plus 2. And then find what is a and b. So a equals 2 and b equals 4. So then you're going to write the um, the formula, which is x equals negative b over 2a, and then replace b with 4, negative, and then bracket 4, over, and you're going to replace a with 2, so it's going to be 2, bracket 2. Now what you're going to do is times them uh, by each other, so negative over 4, so we have negative 4 over 2 times 2, which is 1. So negative 4 divided by 1, which is just obviously negative 4. So if you find um, we have negative 4, uh, I'm sorry, not negative 4. Negative 4 divided by 1 is negative 1. So you don't have to here's the equation. So we have these two, which is negative 1. They have 0 and 4. So now what we need to do, since x equals 1, we are going to plug 1 back into the equation. And then instead of writing x, we're going to write 1. So it's going to be f of x equals 2 and bracket 1 plus 4 bracket 1 and plus 2. So you're going to write the equation in on the calculator. So 2 bracket 1 plus 4 and then bracket 1 again 
plus two. So you are going to find the answer and what I got is zero. So it's going to be negative one and zero. Find the vertex of f of x equals negative two x minus four x plus 12. Hint, use x equals negative b in 2a. So first you're going to write the equation f of x equals negative x power of 2 minus 4x plus 12. Then you're going to find a and b. So a equals negative 1 and b equals 4. Then you're going to write the formula which is x equals negative b and 2a. It is written right here. And then you're going to replace b with negative 4 and a with negative 1. So it's going to be x equals negative minus and then bracket negative 4 over 2 brackets and then negative 1. So negative negative is positive, so it's going to be positive 4 over 2 times negative 2, which is negative 2, and then it's going to equal to negative 2. Then you're going to plug negative 2 back into the equation, so it's going to be f of x equals negative bracket negative 2 power of 2 minus 4 brackets negative 2 plus 12. So then you're going to put it in the calculator and the answer is going to be negative 2 and 16. What is the axis of symmetry? f of x equals x power of 2 minus 8x plus 15. So we are going to write this. So it's going to be f of x minus x power of 2 um, minus 8x and then plus 15. So again, you're going to find a and b. So a is 1 and b is negative 8. Then you're going to use the formula x b over 2a and then you are going to replace negative b with uh, you're going to replace b with negative 8 and then a with 1 so it's going to be x equals negative and then bracket negative 8 over 2 bracket 1 so negative and negative is positive so it's going to be positive 8 over 2 times 1, which is 1. I'm oh, sorry, it is um, 2. two. 2 divided by 1 is 2. So 8 over 2, and then you're going to divide them by each other, and it is going to be 4. So now we're going to find x equals 4, which is right here. We don't have to plug it back into the equation because that is finding the vertex. This question was finding the axis of symmetry. Find the axis of symmetry of the following function. f of x equals 2x power of 2 minus 4x minus 1. So again, we're going to write it down. f of x minus 2x power of 2 minus 4x. So again, we're going to find a and b. So a is 2 and b is negative 4. Then we're going to write the formula, which is x equals negative b over 2a. And then we're going to replace b with negative 4 and a with 2. So it's going to be x equals negative and then bracket negative 4 over, it's going to be 2 and then bracket 2. So negative and negative is positive, so it's going to be positive 4 over 2 times 2, which is uh, 2 divided by 2, sorry, which is 2. Oh, I'm sorry, times. 2 times 2 is 2. And then we're going to divide 4 and 2, which is going to equal to 2. So now we have x equals 2. We're going to find that here. One second, there is no... Pretty sure it's x equals 1. Yes, sorry. Find the axis of symmetry for f of x equals 
x power of 2 minus 8x plus 15. So, again, we are going to find a and b. So, a is 1 and b is negative 8. We just solved this question. So, then we're going to write the formula x equals negative b over 2a. And then you're going to replace b with negative 8. And then you're going to replace a with 1. So, it's going to be x equals negative in the brackets negative 8 over 2 and then bracket 1. So negative and negative is positive so it's going to be positive 8 over 2 times 1 which is 2 and then you're going to divide 8 by 2 which is 4 so it's just going to be x equals 4. What is a problem? The circular graph of a quadratic function or the u-shaped graph of a quadratic function or the v-shaped graph of a quadratic function or the straight graph of quadratic function so a problem is a u-shaped graph of a quadratic function it can be minimum and maximum which is facing up or down find the vertex of f of x minus 2 x power of 2 minus 16 plus 3 so again what we are going to do is This is going to be f of x equals 2x power of 2 minus 16x plus 3. So again, we're going to find a and b. So a is negative 2 and b is negative 16. Now we're going to write the formula x equals negative b over 2a and then we're going to replace negative b with negative 16 and a with negative 2 so it's going to be x equals negative and then bracket negative 16 over 2 and then bracket negative 2 so negative and negative is positive so it's going to be positive 16 over and then we have 2 times negative 2 which is going to equal to negative 4, so 16 over negative 4. And then what you're going to do is divide that, so 16 divided by negative 4, and you're going to have negative 4, so x will equal to negative 4. So here we have those two questions, has negative 4 and negative 4. So now what you're going to do is plug negative 4 back into the equation, so f of x, negative 2 and then instead of writing x we're going to write negative 4 minus 16 again instead of x we're going to write 4 so sorry we're going to write negative 4 and then plus 3 so you are going to use the equation on a calculator so it's going to be f of x so you're going to write on the calculator negative 2 and then bracket negative 4 don't forget to close the brackets and then minus 16 and then negative 4 sorry brackets negative 4 and then plus 3 so then when you find the answer you are going to Write it down, but again, we're, go we're going to do it again just to make sure. Negative 2 bracket negative 4, and then negative 16, and then bracket negative 4, and plus 3. So, have the answer. I got it wrong, which is negative 4. And then 35, I'm pretty sure I wrote the equation wrong. So then the formula for the axis of symmetry is x equals b power of 2 minus 4ac or x equals negative b over 2a or y equals negative b over 2a or y equals b2 minus 4ac. So the formula for the axis of symmetry, so again the formula is when you 
So when you use it to solve the axis of symmetry, and it is x equals negative b over 2a. Very important to memorize. Identify the axis of symmetry for the given problem. So we have y equals x power of 2 minus 4x plus 1. What we're going to do is find a and b. So a is 1 and b is negative 4. And then we are going to use x equals negative b over 2a, the formula we just talked about. And then you're going to replace b with negative 4 and a with 1. So it's going to be x equals negative and then bracket negative 4 over 2 and then bracket 1. So negative negative is positive. So it's going to be positive 4 over 2 times 1, which is 2. So now we have 4 divided by 2. We just have to simplify it. So now 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now we're going to write x equals 2. We're going to find it here. Here it is, x equals 2, and that is the answer. What is the vertex? So again, the vertex is the point. It can be high or low. Now, here is the vertex. So again, we're going to look at it where it is located. So x, it's located at 3, negative 1. So we're going to find it, 3, negative 1. There is the answer. What is the axis of symmetry for the following equation? We have y equals 4x power of 2 minus 8x plus 9. So you're going to write it down, and then you're going to find a and b. So a is 4 and b is negative 8. So we're going to use the formula x equals negative b over 2a. And then you're going to replace b with negative 8 and then a with 4. So it's going to be x equals negative in the bracket negative 8. And then over 2 and then bracket 4. So a negative and negative is positive. So it's going to be positive 8 over 2 times 4, which is obviously 8. So it's going to be 8 over 8. Then you're going to divide it. 8, over 8 divided by 8 is 1. So it's going to be x equals 1. And here's the answer. Using the graph of the quadratic function, identify the vertex. Again, how can you identify the vertex? The first thing you're going to do is look at the graph and see where the vertex is. Again, this graph does not have numbers, so you are the one that's going to need to count. So first, we're going to find the x, so we're going to go up where the x and then count. Here is, here is 0, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. So x is 4. They are going to find y. So here is 0, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it is 4, and then negative 6, because once it's go down, the y axis here it is negative 6. If it's up, it's positive. If it's down here, it is negative. So 4 and negative 6. It is very important to count when there is no numbers. What is the axis of symmetry of y equals 3x power of 2 minus 6x plus 4? Again, we are going to find what is a and b. So a is 3 and b is negative 6. So we're going to write the formula x equals negative b over 2a and then we're going to replace b with negative 6 and then a with 3 so it's going to be x equals negative and then brackets negative 6 over 
2 and then bracket 3. So we have negative and negative, it is positive. So it's going to be positive 6 over 2 times 3, which is 6. So 6 over 6 is 1. So again, x equals 1. Do not get confused when the sign is negative or positive. Find the vertex of f of x equals negative 2x power of 2 minus 16x plus 3. So again, what we're going to do is write the equation down, which is f of x. Here we have f of x equals negative 2x power of 2 minus 16 plus 3. Again, you're going to find A and B. So A equals negative 2 and B equals negative 16. Now what you're going to do is write the formula X equals negative B over 2A and then replace negative B with negative 16 and then A with negative 2. So it's going to be X equals negative bracket negative 16 over 2 bracket negative 2. And then now, we have to simplify, but before that, negative and negative is just, it's positive. So it's going to be positive 16 over 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4, and then which is equals x equals negative 4. So you're going to plug negative 4 back into the equation and write f of x equals negative 2 bracket negative 4. So we're just going to replace x with negative 4 and then so negative 16 and then bracket negative 4 and then plus 3. So you're going to need to use a calculator and you're, you're going to write it down. So negative 2 bracket negative 4 and then negative 16 bracket negative 4 plus 3. Use a calculator to solve this and you're going to have negative 4 and 35. Find the vertex of the following function. f of x equals 2x power of 2 minus 4x minus 1. Again, here we are going to write it down. f of x equals 2x power of 2 minus 4x and then minus 1. So, Now, what we are going to do is find A and B. So A is 2 and then B is negative 4. Now we're going to write the formula, which is x equals negative B over 2A. And then I'm going to replace negative B with negative 4 and then A with 2. So it's going to be x equals negative and then bracket negative 4 over 2 and then bracket 2. So negative and negative is it's positive, so it's going to be positive 4 over 2 times 2, which is 2. So now we simplify and divide 4 by 2. So we're going to divide 4 by 2, which is going to give us 2. So now we have x equals 2. We're going to use that number. And for a second, we are supposed to have x equals 2, but there is no here. One second. We're just going to write again. a equals 2 and b equals negative 4. We're going to use the formula x equals negative b over 2a and then replace b with negative 4 and then a with 2. So it's going to be negative and negative is positive. So positive 4 over 2 times 2, which is 2, and then we simplify 4 divided by 2, 
these two, but there is no. Hmm. Probably doing something wrong. Oh, I got the answer wrong. It is one and negative three. I'm just confused. The equation for the axis of some three line is x equals negative b over two a, and that is completely true. A problem reflects over. So again, here is the problem. Where does it reflect over? The y-intercept, the maximum, the minimum, or the axis of symmetry? The problem reflects over the axis of symmetry. What is the vertex of y equals x bar of 2 plus 4x plus 3? Again, what we are going to do is write it down. So x power of 2 plus 4x plus 3. We're going to find a and b. a is 1 and b is 4. Now we're going to use the formula, which is x equals negative b over 2a. And then we're going to replace b with 4 and then a with 1. So it's going to be x equals negative and then bracket 4 over 2 and then bracket 1. So now we're going to have negative 4 over 2 times 1, which is 2 times 1 is obviously 2. So we're going to have negative 4 over 2. And then we're going to divide negative 4 by 2 because we have to simplify. So negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So we're going to have x equals negative 2. So here we have 2. Here we have negative 2, negative 2. And now what we're going to do is plug negative 2 back into the equation. So it's just going to be y equals negative 2 brackets and then power of 2 plus 4 and then brackets negative 2 again. And then plus 3. So you're going to use a calculator for this. So bracket negative 2 plus 4. And then bracket negative 2 again. And then plus 3. Which is negative 2 and negative 1. Which of the following graph appropriately marks the axis of symmetry? So as we said before, the axis of symmetry is a line that divides the parabola in equal halves. Now when I say equal, the line should be exactly in the middle. Not horizontally, it's going to be vertically, but in the middle. This one is vertically, but it is not in the middle has to be where the vertex point is so this one is horizontal it's not it this one is not where the vertex is this is the only one that it's correct what is the vertex so again we take a look at the problem and then you're going to take a look where the axis of symmetry is or basically the vertex point and it's already written for you here so 4 and negative 4. If you want to make sure you can go back and see 4 negative 4. Does this graph have minimum or maximum value? So again as I said before if the problem is facing up it is minimum. If it's facing down, it is maximum. So it is it's facing up, so it is minimum.
What is the equation for axis of symmetry? Again, you take a look at the parabola, and then you see where the vertex line is and where it meets the axis of symmetry. So here it is. Now we want to find the equation for axis of symmetry. And axis of symmetry only focuses on x. So we're going to take a look at the problem again, take a look at the vertex, and go up for the vertex, uh, which is 3. So x equals 3. A maximum is the blank point of the function. So if you see a maximum value, a maximum is facing down. So is this the highest or lowest point of the function? So again, a maximum is facing down. And you see the um, a vertex line is, is it high or low? It's very simple, it is low. Why? Because when the maximum is facing down, vertex goes up so it is a maximum is the highest point of the function find the vertex of the following function f of 